after spending $1,400 on makeup, I spent a further $4,865 on clothing, shoes, and jewelry. A little recap if you haven't seen part one of this video, I just got back from Sydney and I did a lot of damage and in today's video it will be part two of everything I purchased while I was away. So let's get into it. The first store I went into was Skalan Theodore and the first thing I purchased was this chocolate brown blazer. If you don't know me, I love a blazer and the moment I saw the chocolate brown colour, I was in love. This is a bit of a boxy um, blazer but it also has a tailored fit to it. And it is so nice and being neutral it will go with so many things. So the next thing I purchased also from Skalan Theodore was this slightly wash black denim dress. It has a high collar number. It has balloon sleeves and it also has a cinching in effect at the waist and it has these really nice sort of gold um, buttons all the way down and yeah I thought this was a perfect little number for winter um, just because it's thick denim and the dress is a little bit longer and I could style it with some high boots I thought it would be perfect. The third thing I purchased from Skalan Theodore were some high knee boots. I wasn't going to Australia with boots on my list to purchase, but when I saw these boots, I did fall in love. The boots looks, sorry guys, they are a bit dirty. I have worn them already, but they are a black leather high um, knee boot, which has the cowboy style and the pointy front very very comfy they're not too high and they're not too low so such a nice boot for heading into winter and i thought i would style them with either a dress or a even fitting pants where i can tuck them in and pop these over top the next store i went into i found this dress from win i think it's called win hamlin it is a new zealand designer from auckland and i picked up this beautiful royal blue dress. So this dress can be worn two ways. It can either have the plain side at the front or the cowlip at the front. I thought it's quite a versatile dress where at maybe a work event I could have it this way and have the fun going on on the back where it's not too sexy and then if I'm going out for drinks I can turn it around and have the boobies out for a little bit more of a sexy number. Also, if you don't like royal blue, there is this exact same dress in black, which I feel like anyone would wear. Also, I didn't mention, but all the items I show you in today's video will all be linked down below so you can shop them yourselves. The next thing I purchased were these beige pants from Samso Samso. These, um, this brand, in fact, isn't super, super expensive, but it's also not very cheap. It's sort of in that middle range, and I thought they would be such a nice pants that I could wear casually in the weekend as well as to work, because I could either dress them up while putting them with some heels and a dressy top, but I could also wear them in the weekend, dressing them down with just some sneakers and a tank top. So I thought they were quite a versatile pant. And being neutral they'll go with basically anything the next thing i purchased looks a little bit weird hanging up but this is in fact a chocolate brown knit which is off the shoulders so it's a long sleeve chocolate brown knit and it has all of this material that you can gather up the top to have a bit of a off the shoulder moment and yeah you can either have the material floating further down or you can cinch it all the way up the top where it sits right across your chest. I thought this was obviously a really good piece coming in to winter just to keep me a bit warm, but also showing just a little bit of skin. So the next thing I purchase are these low slingback leather heels. These I purchased from David Jones, but the brand of these are Witness. But yeah, they are really, really dressy shoes, but also very, very comfy being a low heel. And I did wear these last night out for drinks and I can give you the confirmation that they are comfortable 
and I could last the whole night wearing them. The next thing I purchased were some New Balance sneakers. I was originally going in trying to find another style of these sneakers but in the, all of the neutral colours they were sold out in my size so I finally came across this style of New Balance sneaker in my size at Style Runner and the moment I saw them and tried them on I knew that I had to purchase them because for some reason New Balance is in such high demand at the moment so I found these neutral sneakers which are called XC72. So they look like this, they're a bit of a funky neutral sneaker that I thought I would pop on just with active wear, just to dress it up a little bit and a bit more nice looking than popping on my dirty white walking shoes. The next store was Lululemon. Whenever I see Lululemon, I have to go in. I am a bit of a Lulu fan and basically all my sportswear does come from Lululemon because I do find that their material is just so high quality and all of their sportswear lasts so well. But I saw this puffer vest in there and I thought I really was in need of something like this. But yeah, it's really nice, got a high neck little moment and the hood can come on and off with, button, with buttons on the sides. And then it also has a little um, cinching elastic band at the side. So you can either have it fitting a little bit looser or if you do like it being more of a cropped fitting sort of style, then you can cinch that in. And the next thing I purchased at Lululemon was this black sports bra. And it's called their All Powered Up Bra. I think it's medium to high support. Um, not full support, but in that range, medium to high. Um, so yeah, I thought you can't go wrong with another black sports bra. The next store I popped into was Cook Eye. I find that they do really reasonably priced basics. The first top I got, I purchased in two different colors. I have worn these already, so there is a little bit of makeup on them, so don't mind that. But I got this top in both their beige and their stone sort of dark grey colour. Um, thought you can't go wrong with a off the shoulder fitting slightly cropped tank top. And then the next top I got was actually in their sale range. It is a full length singlet top with a low circle cut. And it's in just like a cotton material and it is like a light, a light brown. This was just going to be another really easy top to style with anything. So the next thing I purchased um, from Australia was from also another a New Zealand designer called Caitlin Crisp. And I got her pants and her um, matching blazer. Um, I have gotten the pants altered to be honest. Um, I wish I didn't purchase them anymore because I got them altered so much to the point where they still don't suit me. So I got these khaki, flowy, high-waisted pants and then the blazer that goes with it looks like this. So um, I was purchasing them to be worn together but also separate. Um, but I find with the alterations that have been done to my pants, they still don't look that great. So I feel like the only time I will wear the pants will be when I wear the blazer over top as it will um, hide the unflattering bits of the pants. The next purchase is um, a jewellery piece and it is from a brand called Saint Valentine. And from there I got a matching necklace and earrings. As you probably would have seen in all my videos currently, I wear the exact same necklaces, exact same rings, same earrings, so I feel like I needed a few extra pieces to just switch out a little bit more. So the necklace I got was um, a sparkly tennis bracelet necklace, tennis necklace um, which is really nice. It's got an alterating chain, so you can either have it long or you can have a choker have it more like a choker where it sits high up on your neck which i quite like that look and then you can also 
layer it with other necklaces. I also got, um, they had a few earrings that matched the necklace, but I personally liked these the best. And they are just um, a gold hoop with little teardrop crystals. Just really, really simple and delicate to go along with the necklace that is quite more of a statement piece. So that was everything I purchased while I was away in Sydney. If you haven't seen part one, go check that one out. I basically go over everything I purchased beauty related. However, I do have a few videos coming soon which are very life changing and I will explain that all in upcoming videos. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.